हाय फ्रेंड्स मैं सेल्फ ओब्ली कृष्णन हेड स्कूल ऑफ कॉमर्स के एस आर रोमन्स कॉलेज तिरचंगोड इन दिस वीडियो आई लोट शेयर अबाउट इनकम टैक्स लॉन्ग प्रैक्टिस एस्पेशली द टॉपिक ऑफ कैपिटल गेन वॉट इज कैपिटल गेन द टर्म कैपिटल गेन मीन्स एनी गेन ऑन सेल ऑफ कैपिटल असेट्स इज कॉल्ड एज कैपिटल गेन इन सिंपल वर्ड्स according to section 45 subsection 1 any profit or gain arising from the transfer of capital assets affected in the previous year shall be chargeable under tax under the head capital gain here is two things are important one thing is that capital asset must be transferred from one person to another person and second thing it must be happened in the particular previous year these are two important essentials in the capital gain so the term capital gain means any gain on sale of capital assets is called as capital gain then capital assets what do you mean capital assets capital assets means property of any kind held by the assessee whether or not connected with his business or profession this is called as capital assets all our capital assets except any stock in trade consumable stores raw materials personal effects these are the exemptions of uh, capital assets next one types of capital gain my dear friends there are two types of capital gain one is short term capital gain and long term capital gain capital capital gain before that there are two types of capital assets one is short term capital assets number two long term capital assets what do you mean short term capital assets that short term capital assets mean any assets held by the assessee less than the period of 36 months or 3 years is called as short term capital assets whereas long term capital assets means any capital assets held by the assessee more than the period of 36 months is called as long term capital assets so assets held by the assessee less than 36 months is called as short term capital assets more than 36 months is called as long term capital assets the next topic is capital gain likewise two types of capital gain one is short term capital gain number two long term capital gain the term short term capital gain means any gain on sale of short term capital assets is called as short term gains whereas long term capital gain means any gain on sale of long term capital assets is called as long term capital gain that means short term capital assets to short term gain long term capital assets to long term gain okay the next one how to calculate capital gain basically the difference between buying price and selling price is called as gain or loss we know very well the same technique here also used to find out the capital gain but the only difference is for short term and long term in case of short term no need to index the values but in case of long term we need to index the values now what do you mean by indexing it is nothing but the term indexing means calculating present value of the assets by using index numbers that is the main difference between short term and long term see look at the formula both are same in case of uh, short term sale value minus cost of acquisition cost of improvement whereas in case of long term gain sale value minus indexed cost of acquisition and indexed cost of improvement so the difference is indexing in case of short term no indexing in case of long term we must index that is difference between long term gain and short term gain the next is exemption of capital gain yes likewise in the previous heads here also certain gains which is arising from some particular reasons that gains are totally exempted from tax basically there are two types of exemption one is section 10 and number two section 54 here we discuss a few examples of uh, capital gain exemption under section 54 the first one 54 capital gain arising from sale of residential house 54b 
capital gain arising from sale of agricultural land like as 54d 54ec 54ed 54f 54g and 54ga this is all the exemptions available while calculating uh, the taxable amount of capital gain with this short video i just explained what is capital gain types of capital gain what is capital assets and types of capital assets and how to find out capital gain and what are the exemptions in capital gain thank you thank you for watching